Well, I did grow up in Victoria and in a country town called Horsham, which is about halfway between Melbourne and Adelaide. Um, it was very tough back in those days. Um, to be able to get any com competition, I used to play with the boys. I even represented Horsham in a tournament in a boys team. Um, so I, I had to sort of find other ways to be able to push myself and um, find that competitive spirit and really try and get myself um, to a higher level. And that also um, entailed mum having to drive me three and a half hours to Melbourne every Friday night to go down and play against girls my own age to be able to get the competition. Well, I was very fortunate to come to Western Australia back in 1996 from the Australian Institute of Sport. Um, I got offered a contract to come and play for the Perth Breakers at the time. Um, it was an easy decision for me to make. Um, the club and the organisation were very well run. They were in um, partnership with the Wildcats at the time, so the um, program was a professional one that I really um, was looking forward to joining. Guy Malloy was the coach and I had a highly respected guy because at the time he was the assistant coach of the Opals. Um, so yeah, I moved over in January of 1996 and haven't looked back. i um, been very fortunate to be able to play for the Breakers, also in the changeover to win um, Basketball WA took on the Perth Lynx and play for the Perth Lynx as well and captain a few years through that time and uh, come away with a, a few memorable games and a lot of uh, great teammates. When I think of basketball, I think of teammates, the camaraderie between people um, being able to just come together. The fact that when I moved across here in 1996 to play for the Breakers, I had no family at all over here, but the Breakers became my family. And having those teammates to live with and you're basically living and breathing basketball with them every day. Well, the one I'm most grateful for is the opportunity to be able to play in a WNBL Grand Final. We played, I think it was in 98, 99 against a team from the Australian Institute of Sport at the time, which consisted of your Laura Jacksons, Penny Taylor, Susie Batkovic, um, just that Kristen Beale, Linda Snell, five of those, well, all of those girls went on to represent Australia at the Olympics and have a really um, substantial career. So to be able to come runners up to a team like that um, was quite amazing. We, at the time, we were disappointed, but when you look back on um, the careers of those people we played against, it's quite a proud achievement.